I want to make this clear from the start. Adherence is the most important factor in any workout. You can have the most perfectly designed program if you don't stick to it. It's worthless. So the right question to ask yourself is how do you design a workout that is easy to stick to? Or if you are a coach, one that is easy for your client to stick to. Because even if you think you have an iron will and can handle anything, there is no reason you want to make things more difficult than they need to be. To ensure adherence and long-term success, a workout needs to include three things. Flexibility, feedback, and enjoyment. Let's talk about each and more detail. First, flexibility. Having a flexible workout that can be adapted and modified based on your changing needs is crucial for adherence. Think about in this way. We all run into problems at some point and if your routine doesn't account for these possible contingencies, you will probably abandon it the second you face a major obstacle. This then leads to a useless program, hoping and lower motivation. The two most common obstacles you will run into are high stress or low motivation. Both happen to anyone at some point. So you need to understand how to deal with them properly. The best and most reliable way is to plan for them in advance. For example, deload weeks, which we will go over in more detail later, are regular and planned weeks where you decrease training intensity and volume. This gives your body enough time to recover from accumulated fatigue and helps you not burn out. Another way you can make your program more flexible is through a list of substitute exercises that you can use when you don't have access to a gym or a favorite machine. We have all stayed at hotels with sub bar or no gyms whatsoever and knowing what to do in that case will help you maintain your normal training schedule and stick to your rhythm. Next, we have feedback. Feedback is all about gaining experience and improving long term. That means tracking your lifts and learning to listen to your body. The reason feedback is so critical for adherence is because it's the only way you will want to train long term. How will you know if you are improving yourself if you aren't tracking your workouts? And how will you stay motivated if you aren't improving yourself? So you see, getting feedback is really about helping yourself stay focused and making sure you stay on track. It also includes learning your exercises and trying out new workouts every once in a while. That's why you gain more experience and figure out what training style best suits you. This leads me to the last factor that will ensure adherence, which is enjoyment. Enjoying your time spent training is the number one determinant of long-term muscle growth. No one will stick with a workout they don't like for months or even years. So you want to always design your program around lifts and exercises you like doing. While I have a list of must-do exercises like the big four, this doesn't mean you won't see gains unless you include them in every gym session. For example, even though I tell every beginner to try all squats, a lot simply hate them and just can't see themselves doing heavy squats regularly. In that case, try to find a good substitute that you like. This could be the leg press or hex squats, for instance. The same applies to other parts of your workout like rest times, training splits or volume. Just make sure it all makes sense when put together. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.